Hi there, how are you? All right, so what we're gonna do today is look at, let's see, let me get my screen together. We're gonna look at some things in um, the Bible um, that people have said are not things that we're supposed to um, work with or use. So let's go to scripture where I want to begin with Re Revelations 2 and 17. Um, for all of you who have had fascinations with um, stones, stones come from the earth. And so anyone that has um, doubts about um, the fact that they should have a stone in their house or that they should be um, able to carry stones or that you love looking at them, um, because of something someone else said, always go to your Bible and look for that thing. If you're a Christian and you live by the word, um, one of the people that I work with was saying, well, you're not supposed to add anything to the Bible or take it away. And I said, that's true. And so here is um, for some of you that may have heard that um, stones was something other than a good thing in our life or that it came from the earth um, being a mineral, here's some um, information according to the Bible. I'm gonna read scriptures. Revelations 2 and 17, he says, he that have an ear, let him hear what the spirit says unto the churches. Uh, to him that overcometh will I give to eat, a, eat of the hidden manna and will give him a white stone. And in the stone, a name written, which no man knoweth having or saving he that receiveth it, okay? So a white stone. Matthew 16 and 18 says, And I say also unto thee, that thou art Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail. So Christ had an understanding of what rocks can do. You can stand on them. They're like um, fortitude. Um, the rock to us, the rock of ages, which is Christ, is a healing um, a measure. And it is our all in all is absolute when we talk of the rock of ages. From when I was a, a, a young child, my great grandmother would talk about the rock of ages. So um, there's another one. But to make it really good, here we are with Psalms 120, I mean 118 and 22, it says the stone which the builders refused is become the headstone of the corner. Just a little bit to um, help us be provoked to think um, ourselves. So I've read out of Revelations, um, which is in the New Testament and Matthew. Um, now I'm going to go into the Old Testament, Ezekiel 28 and 13, along with Psalms I just read. Um, it says 28 and 13 of Ezekiel, thou has been in Eden, the garden of God, every precious stone was thy covering. You see, thou has been in the in Eden, the garden of God. That's Adam and Eve. The garden was composed of um, earth, dirt, uh, which is what they came out of. It says, every precious stone was thy covering. So stones was the covering. Um, the sard sardius, topaz, and the diamond, the beryl, the onyx, and jasper, the sapphire, the emerald, and carbuncle, and gold, the workmanship of thy tabrets and of thy pipes was prepared in thee in the day that thou was created. So all of these things, um, or these stones, actually, you know, Ezekiel is pointing to a designated place where they still are um, considered to be a part of who we are. Um, I don't want to stay on it long, but I would say go to, um, let's see, Isaiah 54 and 11. And it says, O thou afflicted, tossed in tempest, and not comforted, behold, I will lay thy stones with fair colors and lay thy foundations with sapphires. And I think that a lot of times people will look over sapphires and diamonds and say, well, you know, because everybody wears them, that that's okay. But it is a stone. 
you know, it is a stone. And when you look at other stones such as amethyst, amethyst is worn by people, but most people don't see it in, you know, the raw form. And so at this time of day, people are seeing amethyst in um, the raw form and also rose quartz. Uh, what does that say? Uh, rose quartz is for healing. It's also to um, help people balance out in the areas of love. So when we look at the stones, we want to remember that number one, it's not convincing anyone to believe. It's for those who have been in that place where they want to understand better and they want to know better um, that there's been a conditioning mentally for all of us. And to break through the conditioning gives us a freedom. And that freedom says that everything came from the earth. Um, at the earth's core is where they find minerals. And those minerals are not used for anything but good unless someone uses them for negative. So why were they put in a position where people had said negative things about them? And um, possibly because of ignorance, right? So today we just want to look at everything that God has created and use it for good, but also realize that everything that God created is good. Amen. And so my name is Kim Warner and um, just a little bit of edification because we have to get beyond um, some of the blockages where we've been conditioned so that we can grow further and help to um, heal the earth. Amen. Help to heal our um, communities, our cities and states, you know, um, how can we heal if we do not know the truth? And Jesus said, and the truth will make you free. Um, the truth will make you free because anything that comes from the earth is good. We eat food and it is um, grown from the earth. So if a stone is not good and it comes from the earth, then we have some things that we really need to um, look at and uh, um, make sense of. All right. And so um, anybody that has questions, you can email me at ifwbuilders at gmail.com. And um, I also do um, sessions for spiritual coaching and advisory. Um, I have groups, you can become a part of them, where we come together on Zoom. And we do classes, we're going to start back up with some other classes that's coming up in a couple of weeks, give everybody a chance to overcome some of the um, concerns of the virus that's been going on or whatever is going on in the world. Um, and, and not to say that we're giving you a chance to consume it, but give you a chance to get in your space of peace and um, understand that there is no fear when you live in Christ. Have a good evening morning, um, afternoon, wherever you are in the world. God bless you.